All right, guys, once you've taken a moment to kind of look over and look through all of the Illustrator uh, pieces here and kind of how they have it set up, we want to go ahead and uh, hit File, New. And we're going to call this our own puppet. So give it a name, Puppet. I've created a few, so I'm going to name it Puppet 3 just to make sure I know which one I'm talking about here. Um, then what I want you to do, I want you to actually set this to be pretty big. So put the width at 2,000 pixels. Uh, if your units are not on pixels, you can come over here. Uh, put it on pixels. And then the height at 2,000 pixels as well. And you can go ahead and hit OK. Once you've done that, then what we want to do is we want to actually begin to draw our own character. Now, some of you are probably saying, How? I can't draw, I'm, I'm not an artist, I can't make my own character. Trust me, you can do it. Um, I probably am one of the least artistic people out there, but I was able to do it. And I, I could create something, um, something that was worked and that we we're able to use. So don't uh, say you can't do it because that's why we want to use Illustrator to do this. And we're just going to use shapes. Um, and you don't actually have to draw to do it. Um, and so well, you can, you'll be able to do it. Now, if you want to draw, you'll have that capability too. But we're going to kind of go through and just do some shapes and show how to do it that way. So we want to come over here to our shape tool. And you should have this one. It's probably on the rectangle. We want to go ahead and start off with the ellipse tool. So we're going to come over here and we're going to begin to draw a shape. And I'm going to use a a uh, a perfect circle shape for my head. You can make it more oblong if you want. That's fine. Um, but to make it a perfect circle, uh, hold down the shift key while you draw it out, and it will draw that in. I'm actually going to come in. I'm going to make myself, uh, I'm going to make this puppet have a blue head. Why not, right? So something like that. And then I'm just going to zoom into this a little bit so I can kind of see a little bit more of what I'm doing here. So this is going to be the, the face of my character. All right, then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to come over here. And I'm gonna double click on where it says layer one and I'm gonna name this head. Okay. That way we can begin to um, make sure we have everything labeled, we know what it is that we're dealing with, um, and we can begin to make sure that we get things put in the right spot. Okay. So make sure again that's underneath this layers tab here if you are not sure how to get to that click on that it will bring this layers section out here okay now underneath that then we want to go ahead and, and hit uh, create a new sub layer and on that new sub layer then we're gonna go ahead and draw some eyes in here so again I'm gonna for my eyes I think I want my eyes to be perfect circles as well but I want them to be white like that okay so I'm gonna draw that first one in and when I do that I'm going to just select it you'll see then that where it says layer 2 I can come in and I can um, double click on that now I'm gonna when I label this you'll see actually it's on the left hand side of my character but it's actually his right eye so I'm gonna put right eye in there so that I know which one it is that I'm talking about here okay now the cool thing with this again I can come with my arrow selected here with my selection key uh, with my selection tool selected over here I can come over to my eye and I can hit alt on my keyboard and I can drag it over and it's going to create an exact duplicate copy of my eye. Now the only problem is, is that that puts it in this kind of the same um, one here underneath right eye. So to fix that 
I want to come over and I just want to hit create new layer. It's going to give us this new layer called layer three. And I can tell which one that is selected. This is the one that I want. I'm, I have it selected and on mine it's red. It might be a different color on your, yours. Over here then it also has this red square. It lets me know that's the one that's selected. I can actually drag it so that it goes on top of that layer three and it highlights the whole thing. Not like that line underneath it or on top but that it highlights in kind of this gray that whole thing. I drop it on there and now this is layer three which I want to call left eye. Okay so I've got that on there. That is um, a good thing. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to uh, go under my right eye this time. I'm going to have that one be selected and um, I can even click on the side here in this little uh, circle to select that one. And I'm going to go ahead and draw in the pupil and do something like that. And I'm going to make it just black. Um, kind of center it in here like that. So now again here I see that I've got my pupil. And I'm going to go ahead and just rename this to, I'm going to call this right pupil. I'm going to name this uh, right eye. Okay. The next thing then that we want to do, again, we can click, take our selection tool and again hitting Alt, oops, selecting our pupil, hitting Alt on our keyboard. The way that you can tell that you've done it is when you hit Alt, you'll see this little, um, another arrow kind of come up there, this other white arrow, and that lets you know that you've got it, and I can drag that over. I'm going to take that one, though, and I'm going to put it up here on my left eye, and just give this a name of left pupil. Let me name this one, too. Call that left eye as well. That way we're keeping everything uh, labeled correctly so we can find it. Next thing I want to do, I want to draw in my blinking. And so the blink is actually, it's actually just a kind of a line. So I can take either my line tool here oops, and draw a line segment. You could, I guess, also use the rectangle tool and just draw a thin rectangle there, but we'll just use the line and just kind of draw a line straight across. Um, if, I'm going to hit shift again to draw a perfectly straight line across and I'm going to let go. I'm going to come up and I'm going to make sure this is black up here. Maybe I'm going to change the stroke just to make it have a little bit more of a look like that. Oops. And again, one thing I forgot to check and that I didn't do um, beforehand, I forgot to change which layer I'm on, so my my blink actually got drawn underneath my left eye, even though it's on my right over here. So I'm just going to take that, I'm going to drag it down here and make sure it's in the right one, and I'm going to call this uh, oops. I'm going to call this right blink so that I know which one that is. Again, trying to keep it all situated properly. I can actually then take my selector, hit Alt, and I can drag over a copy of it. I want to make sure then to take my blink and drag it up here and just rename it left blink. And let's see what we've got going on so far. So I'm going to save it. I already named it Puppet 3 at the beginning, but I'm going to save it now. Called Puppet 3. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to hit OK here. And what I'm going to do then is I want to come over here to Character Animator. And I'm going to come up to File and I'm going to hit Import. And I'm going to go find that one that I just created called Puppet 3, 
And you'll see it looks like it didn't do anything, but over here on the side, I now have Puppet 3. So I'm going to double click on that, and it, you'll see here's the, the face that I've been creating so far. One of the things that we can do then over here on the face, uh, not the face, um, let's see, oh, there we go. So if I click on the eye, I've got my blink here, and if I click over on left blink, it actually has already gone in. I labeled it pretty well, so it has gone on and it's already selected that for me. That's kind of a key thing is to make sure that we've got our right and left blinks done well. Um, okay, so that looks pretty good so far. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to hit Add to New Scene down here. And always come over and hit Set Rest Pose so that, and kind of look at the camera. Like make sure your face is where you want it to be and hit set rest pose and it should begin to work and let's make this a little bit bigger maybe 50 percent or so should be able to blink and i should be able to move my head although we didn't set an origin point yet so it's kind of all over but for the most part it works pretty well at least so far um we don't have a mouth yet We'll get into how to do that in a little bit. But so far, we've got a a, uh, a staring face without a nose and mouth and ears and hair or anything else. But it has eyes and it can blink. So we're off on a good start. So check that out. See if you can get that done for now. And then we'll continue working on that in just a minute.